Ow, my poor little noggin hurts. Don't remember going to sleep on the floor. Wait a second, this is my room. Love the color scheme, superior decorating skills, but the fact remains, I did not go to sleep here. My pals, I have awoken with a huge goose egg on my head and a mystery in my mind. Three questions. Number one, whose bedroom is this? Number two, since when am I a miniature person? And number three, am I allowed to move into that cute little pink house because I feel like that should be my new home? I have been dreaming about a pink house for so long, I'm just gonna go check it out. If there's no one living in there, I might just have to call squatters rights. Come one, come all. Visit the spectacular Darling in her dollhouse? Okay, first obstacle in my plan, apparently the house belongs to someone named Darling, but I will believe it when I see it. In the meantime, I might just check out the real estate. I see Darling has a guard teddy, that's actually better than a guard dog in a lot of cases. Let's have a look at the house, lots of welcoming arrows. Oh my gosh, it's fabulous. Pink walls, pink floor, pink furniture. Oh, and a mysterious pit in the closet. Personally, I don't like to live in any house that doesn't have a mysterious closet pit. It just really makes a home feel like a home if you can jump into the unknown. Oh, nice picture. Wow, there's more of them, okay. So I'm guessing this is Darling. She has an extremely interesting sense of interior decorating and oh my gosh, she loves a misty hole in the ground. That's all right, I'll play. You promised me this pit would lead to Darling's dollhouse and instead I have ended up in a basement full of junk. I mean, lots of beautiful items, obviously, but also why are these cakes on the ground? They're just gonna go moldy. Also, do you find it a little bit weird that we haven't actually met Darling yet? Like the outside of the house, it was all very welcoming. We had lots of glowing arrows. It was like, come in, come in. But like, where is our hostess? Hopefully that's nothing to be too worried about, but if you think that I should be on guard, possibly be a little bit suspicious of Darlin', maybe give this video a thumbs up. And if you think I have absolutely nothing to worry about, that Darlin' has cleared out of the house and actually this is my pink house now, then just put a little house emoji in the comment section. Maybe let me know what color your dream house would be. Would it be pink? Would it have a basement full of discarded stuffed toys? I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a little bit scary something a bit unnerving about all of these stuffed toys being left around here. But I don't want to be jumping to conclusions. I don't know that we've seen anything yet that would make us too suspicious of Darling. Other than the fact that her idea of decorating seems to just be putting her own face on every single wall, which doesn't necessarily speak to mental stability, but we'll, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Oops. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Can't believe I accidentally dipped my foot in that pool of raspberry coolie. I can't be wasting time, I gotta follow those arrows, I gotta go through the bars, I gotta go into the weird raspberry coolie stuffed toy sewer situation that we've got going on here, I gotta find Darlin. Ask her why she's invited us all into her house, and also, is she looking for a roommate? I think we might get along really well, like she loves misty holes in the ground, I love coming up with ideas about where those misty holes should lead to. Like it doesn't have to just be the basement, it could be a ball pit, it could be a swimming pool full of slime bath. It could be a king-size bed made entirely of marshmallows. Like, don't restrict yourself, darling. Anything is possible. Wow, darling actually might know that anything is possible. She's really created quite the world here. I think it's, oh my gosh, it's all made of candy. <gasps> wow, I take it all back. Darling is a creative genius. She has made a candy world in the basement where your falls are broken by donuts and you have to avoid the raspberry coolie. Darlin's dollhouse, one mile. Why do you keep promising me this dollhouse? I'm like, I, I swear we're in the dollhouse. Maybe there's an even smaller dollhouse up ahead, a dollhouse within a dollhouse. Maybe that's where Darlin lives. I'm a bit confused about this house, but I am not confused about these rotating lollipops, which are both delicious and deadly. Now we don't know very much about Darlin so far. She's a bit of an enigma to us. So far, I think we can say with confidence that she likes the color pink, um, she likes pictures of her own face, um, and she seems to have a sweet tooth. Wait a second, there is another dollhouse. That's silly, whoever heard of a house in the basement of another house? And this one has like a Ferris wheel looking thing. All right, welcome to Darlin's house, sure. Does this mean that I finally get to meet the infamous Darlin? Can't wait to meet Darlin and tell her how much I love her house and oh, Okay, is that her? No, no, you look great. I just didn't expect your eyes to be so blank and unseeing. Less witnesses around that I might ideally like and wow, you've got a lot of food in your hair. You know what, you seem really busy. So, so nice to meet you. I'm just gonna jump down this pit in the closet. Okay, bye. Wow, okay, that was terrifying. 
Okay, so questions emerge about Darlin. Now she wants me to play a hide and seek game, find all of her buttons. I don't really want to play though. I'm kind of scared. Something about those button eyes, very unsettling. Oh, I like the strawberry toilet seat though, that's a plus. How do I balance this conflicting information? On one hand, Darlin looked objectively terrifying. On the other hand, she has great taste in strawberry toilet seats. A lot of data, a lot of information. Gotta make a lot of complicated calculations. Oh, there's a button. Button. Oh. oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. She's using her hair like arms. I hate it. Abort. Abort mission. <laughs> and a creepy laugh. Wonderful. And okay, she's trying to attack me with her pigtails. What fresh horrors are these? Wait, is she chasing me or is she just like whipping her hair back and forth? Gal, everything good? Oh, nope. The pigtails definitely caused me damage. Okay, the pigtails are trying to end my life. All of a sudden, Darlin's hide and seek game and the search for the buttons has taken on a new sense of urgency. What if I just hid in the closet? I wish this closet had a misty pit. Just kidding, I'm so brave. I'm looking for buttons. There's one. Just one more button to go and they're not gonna make it easy for me, are they, Umar? I assume this is where I'm trying to go. Find the third button, open up the cage, all that good stuff. I really wish I had more information about what Darlin's up to. At this stage, Darlin's motivations remain frustratingly opaque. Like, what was the plan here, my gal? Like, I don't know if you know this, but outside, there's like a whole lot of like glowing signs, like big flashing arrows pointing at the door. It's almost like you want people to come in. So here I am, I come into your dollhouse, and what's the first thing you do? First thing we meet, you just start descending from the ceiling to creepy music, using your pigtails like scary, scary arms. And then you chase people down the hallway, whipping your hair back and forth. It's like mixed messages, darling. Do you want us here or not? I don't like the pictures. <laughs> Imagine living in a house where every single picture was just a picture of you on the wall. Like what? Wait, where are we now? That's the Ferris wheel. Does that mean I'm on top of the house? I could have sworn I jumped into another misty little ground hole. Oh no, there's like a series of a series of Ferris wheels. What is going on? Darlin, explain yourself. Oh no, not Umar. I really don't know how this ends. I can tell you one thing for sure though. I am no longer interested in being Darlin's roommate. Obviously the house is gorgeous. I love the candy basement, but I don't know. I just think she'd be difficult to live with. I like try to have friends over to watch a movie. Darlin's hanging from the kitchen ceiling by your pigtails. My friends are like, weird vibe. I think at this point I would just be happy if I made it out of Darlin's dollhouse alive. I don't even need to know how I ended up in that room in the first place. Like obviously I'm curious, but I, I, I don't need to know. I can just go home and pretend this whole day never even happened. Loving the look of this circus tent and balloons up here though. Maybe the nightmare's over. Maybe we're going to the circus. Darlin would probably love that. She'd be swinging from the trapeze with her pigtails. She'd be sticking cotton candy in her hair. I keep telling her, I'm like, darling, you're meant to put the candy in your mouth, not in your hair. But does she listen? No, never. She's like, I'm saving it for later. I don't mind if it's not a circus. I just want to relax. I have been fighting for my life out here. Uh. I am in this moment realizing how many misty pits I've jumped down and I am wondering how far underground I am. What if I stole some of those helium balloons? Maybe I could use them to float to the surface. If you think that's a solid plan from the mind of a genius, please put a balloon emoji in the comment section to boost my ego. And while you're doing that, please ignore the fact that I just got oofed by a swinging crescent moon. All right, circus, let's go. If I don't see an elephant in the next five seconds, I swear I am taking those balloons. I am floating to the surface and oh, another misty pit. <gasps> Can't resist. Going down and oh, we're just back in the house. How, who is responsible for this? How did this happen? Another long haul of portraits. Portraits just of Darlin. I just feel like she might be a little bit self-obsessed. Okay, I think we've entered Darlin's chaos room. What is happening to the couch? That beautiful shell couch is just rotating and okay, all of the furniture is moving. Gravity apparently does not apply in this room. Lots of presents though. Imagine if every house had one room where gravity just didn't apply. You're like in the kitchen trying to make pancakes, your pancake starts floating away. You're in bed at night, but you can't get cozy because your blanket keeps floating off. You're in the bathroom and actually, I might just, I might just leave that one. Leave it up to your imagination. If there's one thing I know about my viewers, it's that they have excellent imaginations. Oh my gosh, look at the bed rotating. There is no way you're getting a good night's sleep in that. All right, back to the beginning of the gravity-defying rumpus room. I'm actually shocked at how little we've seen of Darling so far. Like, she invited us in. You'd think that she would want to spend some time with us. I don't want to be roommates anymore, obviously, but there's still a possibility that we could be friends. 
Maybe we could have a little chat about pro-social behavior. Helps you make friends. For example, when you invite your friends over to your house, imagine yourself inviting a friend over. Do you usually slap them with your hair? True or false, your friend comes over, do you give them a little slippy slap? I'm gonna guess that most of you said no, but I will be putting a poll up in my community page. So if you are a secret after-school hair slapper, prepare to get exposed. Oh my gosh, a picture of something that is not Darlin. Okay, she does love sweets. So I guess in addition to the pictures of herself, like this beautiful one here, she does sometimes also frame paintings of baked goods. I don't know, it's kind of a vibe. Ooh, this looks interesting. Is this the circus? Oh, nope. It's a final showdown. Time to destroy Darlin. Wow, the way she swings <laughs> is really unnerving. All right, Darlin, turns out that I cannot forgive the pigtail slap incident in the hallway earlier. We are now mortal enemies and we must fight to the end. A new goal has been registered. We must destroy Darlin. If for no other reason than her terrifying habit of not using her feet and just, wait, what is she doing with her pigtail? What is she shaking? Are those balloons? Oh no, they're jujubes! I think she might be trying to win this battle by crushing me with candy. She's like not satisfied with having half a candy store stuck in her hair. She wants to get candy stuck in my hair as well. Well, it's not gonna happen. Okay, getting grabbed by a scary hair hand. Can she actually see me or nah? Oh, she certainly looks like she can see me. What are you doing? Don't slap me again. Oh, a hand on the shoulder. Sure would be a shame if this unstable looking chandelier came crashing down. Totally wasn't me. Is she like gone? Cause I'd feel a lot better if her eyes would just close. But then again, can't resist a victory chicken dance. You know what, I'm gonna call it. I think that she is gone forever. So guess that means that the doll house is mine. Is that how it works? I feel like between the pigtail slapping and the chasing and the boss battling, I feel like I have earned this house fair and square. Wow, I should have known if I wanted to own my own house, all I had to do was battle an evil doll. It's so simple.